City House here at Kemper Arena for the Phillips 66 Big 12 Tournament Championship game. The defending champions, the Oklahoma Sooners, they're the number two seed coming into this tournament, and the top-ranked Kansas Jayhawks square off this afternoon. The brackets, and here's how they got here, and it was an impressive fashion. Kansas just overwhelmed Texas Tech yesterday by 40, and Oklahoma ran roughshod over the Texas Longhorns to get to the championship game. Hi, everybody. Ron Franklin along with John Sunbold, and it's great to have you here at Kemper Arena. Much more on the line this afternoon than just winning a conference championship because everyone assuming, John, that Kansas is there as far as a number one seed. There are also some to think that the Oklahoma Sooners could get a number one seed as well. Ron, if Oklahoma wins today, they are a number one seed. If they lose, they, they still have a chance, but they want to play well. The key here, Oklahoma, Kansas went through the conference 16-0. They matched up once in Allen Fieldhouse. The Sooners from that day on thought we want a chance again to play Kansas. And of course, the Jayhawks finished the year 16-0 in conference play. No one's ever done that in this young league. Gooden, he gets a ton of attention, and for good reason. He's an All-American. But there's a young man by the name of Kirk Heinrich who wears number 10 that really is the pilot that drives the engine on this Kansas ball club. If you were to say, give me one reason why Kansas averages 93 points a game, I would say Kirk Heinrich. He has speed, and then there's another gear that he has. He is a driving force offensively for his team, whether it's steals, pushing the ball up the floor, or knocking in three-pointers. Nearly 50% beyond the three-point line. And for the Oklahoma Sooners, uh, it comes from another little man on their team, but he is not big in stature, but huge as far as this ball club is concerned. Hollis Price was uh, a point guard. Now they've moved him to his right position, which is shooting guard, and he's had a sensational year. Terrific season. All Big 12 first team. Hollis Price, as you mentioned, Ron, gets to slide over to shooting guard position. Outstanding shooter. He has struggled, though, the two ball games here in Camperina. Only six for 26 from the field. He has to shoot it well for his Sooners to win this afternoon. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for these two teams. First of all, for the Oklahoma Sooners, it will be White, Price, and Abby Arad. Now, back in the 19th, when Oklahoma squared off with Kansas, 17 points for Arad, as you can see, was perfect from beyond the arc. Aaron McGee and Jabari Brown inside in the semis yesterday. 15 rebounds for big Aaron McGee. How about the Jayhawks of Kansas? Aaron Miles, the sensational freshman. Jeff Boshi and Kirk Heinrich in the semis yesterday against Texas Tech. The freshman Miles with 15 assists. And Drew Gooden and Nick Collison inside yesterday. Gooden with 21 boards in that ball game. And consider this. He went to the bench with about six and a half minutes left to play in the ball game. The last time that these two clubs got together, 74 to 67. At that time, KU was number four in the nation. OU was number five. The free throws, as John said, not good for KU. Three-point shooting, well, in that ball game, the biggest thing was the absence of McGee. And we cannot stress enough the importance of him having a good outing here this afternoon for the Sooners to be contentious in this one. Ron Aaron McGee averaged 21 points and nine rebounds in the month of February. He has carried that over to determined play. We'll see if he gets off to a good start today against Collison and Good. John, right off the top to you, the most important thing that has to happen because this ball club here will get out and smack you in the mouth quickly. I Big think, runs. I think Kelvin Sampson's team, in, in order to attack Kansas, they are so good in the half court on the defensive end, you want to try to push and score yourself. Slow them down a little bit, get in their face of the jump shooters, make them play a half court game on their offensive end. But Oklahoma, don't walk it up the floor, push it up, see if you get open looks early. Brown and Gooden to jump it up. And the tip will go to Kansas. Jayhawks have had hot starts uh, in most every ball game they've played in. Not many teams have been able to slow them down. Ball knocked away by Jabari Brown. Steve Wellmer is the referee today. And the two umpires, Scott Thornley and Tom O'Neill, in fact, the same crew that called the championship game here in Kansas City last year. Veteran group, very fine officials. We'll keep an eye on Kirk Heinrich today, too. Something we really didn't address in the open because they're trying to downplay it. But Heinrich, heavily taped right ankle. He turned it yesterday in the semifinal game against Texas Tech. First possession, Oklahoma again, has made this Kansas team run their half-court offensive set. The bouncer inside to Gooden. Shot clock is at five. Gets it back out front, and Miles with the shot, and he can't get it to go. Brown rebounds OU. And Sooners will want to push to see if they get an easy look early. McGee, the big stop. knocks it down. 
and it's exactly the way he has been starting in the last six to eight games of the season. And a big shot for his confidence against this Kansas team. This Oklahoma ball club wanted this game to happen, Ron, no matter if there's a number one seating on the line or not. McGee reaching in on Collison. Good way outside, fires the three, off the mark. Collison on the follow, but he missed that. Taken away by Hollis Price as McGee goes down hard inside and now is back up and heading down the floor. Good matchup. Juanis White, Aaron Miles. Two guards have run their ball clubs extremely well. White will be patient, doesn't look to score a lot, but he had 17 in the first matchup against this Kansas team. Debbie Ara off the mark of a three-point attempt. That ball knocked out of bounds, and it will go back the other direction to Kansas. Roy Williams, 14th season at Kansas, 384 and 91, over 80% winning percentage. You see this numbers against Oklahoma. Roy, the coach of the year in the Big 12 Conference this season, and for good reason, 60 to 0. Quite good, light touch, tries to jam the follow back home, can't get it to go, but KU will save it. Boshi for three, and Boshi loves it here at Kemperina. 55% from the three-point line. The last 10 ball games, and when he gets to Kemper in Kansas City, he plays extremely well. He was an outstanding player in this tournament in his freshman season. I talked to him as he warmed up this afternoon when he first came out, John. I said, why do you like this arena? He said, just everybody's on top of you. The depth perception in a building like this is much better than some of the big domes. And he, he said, I like tournament time also, the closeness and the excitement of the fans. The atmosphere is great, and if you're a shooter, this is a terrific place with their lighting. McGee, tough rebound, can't get his shot to go. Collis Price hustles back for the long carom, and Ara bangs into Collison, and he'll knock down the shot. Good hustle by Price. If he doesn't get it, it's an easy two for Kansas on the other end. So Oklahoma with a one-point lead as we have now played the first two and a half minutes of this one, and the kind of pace that we expected. Collison blocked by Brown. Jabari Brown. Missed the first six ball games of this season because of the transfer rules. This is what he brings to the table for Calvin Sampson. The ability to block shots, the ability to rebound. He changes things inside for this Sooner team. McGee, we told you, went down, excuse me, John, has gone to the bench, and Darian Selby has checked into the lineup as Price gets the steal. And we'll keep an eye on him as the trainer is over checking out Aaron McGee. And Selby will bring activity on both ends of the floor. Dribbles to the free throw line, extended on the left side, and uh, shot too hard off the front iron. There's McGee on the bench. I saw him go down, and he keeps putting that towel up against his head. I don't know if he fell back on his head or what. I hope he's okay. Matchup, Selby against Gooden. Big size difference. Selby only 6'6", Gooden about 6'10". Selby called for the foul. That's the first foul of the ball game. First team, his first. Let's go back and take a look. Aaron McGee inside. Yeah, it looked like Heinrich going for the basketball may have uh, caught him with the elbow in the ear. So he sits on the bench. And we'll see how quickly before he can get back in. Stolen by Jabari Brown. Two turnovers, match. Kansas. And the Jayhawks off to a poor shooting afternoon. Only one of seven. And Kansas actually trying to throw over the top of this Sooner defense. But with Jabari Brown inside and Selby so active quickly off his feet, tough to do. Kelvin Sampson has done a truly outstanding job on the campus at Norman. They won the championship last year, playing for the championship again this year. Price quickly goes cross-court, knocked away, and it will stay with the Sooners. Kelvin Sampley, Sampson simply a no-excuse type of a coach in a, in a time where we have coaches talk about we're too young, we have kids transfer, we lost 27% uh, of our scoring from a year ago. We hear a lot of things. This guy, there's no excuse. Well, they show up, they play hard, they defend you, and he's always said discipline is the foundation of his program. Well, good news for Sooner fans. Aaron McGee uh, is better. We won't say he's okay because he took a pretty good knock in here, but he's back on the floor. And the foul is going to be against uh, Boshi. It will be his first and the team's first. As the officials letting them play in the early going, kind of feeling each other out. But one of the good things about this group right here, John, is they will talk to the players are good about that instead of just surprising you with a call that you didn't think should have been a foul. Exactly right. This crew here, communication key with the players. 
on his way. Drives it on the baseline, tries to beat it back out, gets it to Ora at the free throw, got it to go. Boy, he has had a nice touch and has really come on in the conference season. At the other end, the ball tipped away, and a nice job in transition defense by Oklahoma. 15-57 left until halftime. The Sooners with an early lead.